Nigerian genius. Hi, good evening. I'm by name Tawid Uyewo, a part five student of mechanical engineering from Lautech. Hello viewers, my name is Ayen Ole Yanulu Amosis, a 500 level student from Mechanical Engineering Department, Ladoke Akintola University of Technology. My name is Abisoya Kloye Samson, a 500 level Mechanical Engineering student of Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Oyo State Ogumashi. The challenge that was given to us in the morning, you know, we were given um, to speak and also with cotton wool together with scissors and paper tape to produce a furniture of our choice. The task for today is to make any furniture of your choice using toothpicks. Okay? So you're making a toothpick furniture because it has to be miniature, whatever furniture you decide to make. But let it be, don't tell me this is a table and I look at it and it doesn't look like a table. <laughs> Do you understand? So let it be something that I can easily define once I see it, even though it's a miniature pattern. Okay, let it be stable too, as much as possible. And let it be creative, you know. It speaks of your ingenuity. As usual, you have five minutes to plan, 25 minutes to execute. So eventually, we came up with a table. So that was what we did in the morning as our morning teaser. We even finished before every other school finished their work. We had the idea of what we wanted to do beforehand. So when we when the materials were given to us, we get started to it and it was so firm and so rigid. To bring the skills to people in different parts of the country who watch you know the show will learn engineering essential industry um, skills, advanced engineering skills. We also hope that the show will inspire um nigerians to venture into indigenous manufacturing by the time they see the possibilities around here they see the advanced engineering skills and then they see the precision manufacturing equipment they begin to have more hope in the capacity of nigerians and nigerian engineers to meet the needs of the industry and then we hope that this will inspire more and more people to go into manufacturing we also hope that um, this will also inspire young people millions of young people in primary schools in secondary schools to begin to aspire to become engineers future engineers and by so doing we increase the population of um, engineers and technologies in nigeria The class that we had today actually is about you know engraving and producing a PCB. To actually every one of us, the three my team, we are from mechanical engineering department, so we have no idea of what a PCB is, so called. Though we've seen it, but you know laying hand on it by doing it and bringing about the machining part of it. So it was actually an experience which we learned a lot of things. We indeed learned a lot of things by you know, starting the design from the computer using you know, freezing and um, also with some other softwares. So eventually we designed it, you know, we inserted all the components. We want, we have to produce a charger, a phone charger, the phone that you are using. So we have to produce it using all the components. So we inserted all the components. After inserting the components, then, you know, we had to do the PCB. Then, you know, eventually a G code is being generated. Then we went down to the, what's it called? The machine, the engraving tool. So the engraving tool, you know, created the path for the PCB in which we will be insert our components. So that was all what we did for the training today. This is indeed a mind-blowing innovation and simulated hope to come up with mind-blowing, innovative ideas in subsequent time. Kindly support us, kindly endorse our innovations. We hope to make sure that we are going to solve the problem we are currently in the power sector of Nigeria using all we have we've learned in the advanced engineering class. Kindly support us, endorse us. And